You probably know LinkedIn is one of the biggest job boards out there, but if you don't know how to use it well, you're probably not going to have much luck. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the jobs you want using LinkedIn's job board, as well as another way you may not know about. If you jump on LinkedIn and just passively hit easy apply on every job that LinkedIn throws at you, you're probably not going to do very well. It's important that you know how to use LinkedIn to its fullest potentials to find the jobs that you actually want and are actually qualified for. So first, I'm going to show you how to use LinkedIn's job board to search for the jobs that you want. And then second, I'm going to teach you how to find additional jobs that may not even be included on the job board using LinkedIn's general search function. All right, so here is LinkedIn's job board. You can find this on your computer by coming over to the jobs tab. You can also find this on your phone app by also coming over to the jobs tab. And here you can see a few of these top picks for you. And then up here is a search bar where you can search for a job you want, a company you want to work at, or maybe a specific skill, and then you can add your location. So for me, I am a data analyst, so I'm going to search for data analyst right here, and I'm just going to search within the United States. So automatically, it's going to come up with the jobs that it thinks I might be interested in, but these aren't always the perfect jobs. If I click down here a little bit and keep looking at these different jobs, you'll find some of these jobs may not be the best jobs to apply for. So using this one as an example, this was posted over two weeks ago. So they have probably already started interviewing people and probably aren't actively looking at applications anymore. So that's always something I search for. A couple of other quick things before I show you how to use all of LinkedIn's filters is you can find the location of the job here. Again, how long it was posted, how many people have clicked apply and for meta or a similar company it's always going to be a ton of people i promise you it's way over a hundred and sometimes you'll get the salary range as well as if it is full-time part-time contract internship or so on but the key to finding the jobs that you want on linkedin is by using all of these different filters so let me show you each of these so what i think is the most important filter is the date posted so i will usually come first to the past 24 hours i may come up to the past week later if there aren't a bunch of options, but I want to find the jobs that have most recently been posted because you're going to have a much better chance because they're going to be earlier on in the job search process. So a few quick examples. There's this job for the Golden State Warriors. It was posted just 15 hours ago. There's this job at this company called Quinata. It was reposted just three hours ago. I will say sometimes people say not to go for these reposted jobs because it just seems like these companies just keep reposting the same role over and and over again so that doesn't give me a bunch of hope but I'll leave that up to you. One little piece of advice I'll give is this easy apply can be fun to hit sometimes when you're lazy and aren't going to put a bunch of effort into jobs. But anytime this easy apply is present, there are going to be so many people that apply for that job that you're going to have almost no chance of even giving getting an interview. So I highly recommend prioritizing jobs that don't have the easy apply. So you have to actually go into the website because I promise there will be a lot less competition. And for anybody that doesn't know, easy apply basically you can store your resume on LinkedIn and you might answer a couple of quick questions so that way you can apply to jobs in like 10 seconds. So obviously a million people are going to do that. So the first thing I like doing is the past 24 hours. The second filter is experience level. I'll be honest, I think job postings aren't terrific at denoting what experience level they're at, but this can sometimes be good to at least come and check out because you can uncheck it if you need to. So I checked for entry level and I'm seeing a lot of these easy applies. So if you are an entry level data analyst, this might be a good way to find some jobs. And again, if you don't have any luck with that, you can always just come up here and reset the filter and hit show results. Next is salary and by clicking any one of these salary ranges, you are going to automatically filter out any jobs that don't have salary information. So you can choose whether or not you want to do that. But if you are only interested in jobs that pay a lot of money, then you can come here and select whatever that is to you. Next is company. I never really do this myself, but let's say that you really want to work at Netflix. You could come here and see if Netflix is hiring for any jobs and you could click right there to do that. If you're only interested in a specific work place, you can come and hit right here on remote and choose on-site, remote, and or hybrid. You can choose one, multiple, or all of those. And then last on the main page is this easy 
apply. So again, if you're just being really lazy and want to send out a bunch of easy applies, you may not be successful, but if you want to do that, you can select this, which will turn on only easy apply jobs. And then now I want to show you all filters. And I think a lot of people skip past this because it's an extra step. So this gives you a lot more options of things to sort and filter by. So first of all, you can sort by most recent. So instead of just looking at past 24 hours, if you turn this on, it will literally give you the most recent job that has been posted given whatever you're filtering for. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see a lot of the filters we've already looked at. Here's another one, this is job type. So this is whether you're interested in full-time, part-time, temporary contract, internship, or other. If you really wanna make sure that these companies are legit, and if you don't recognize a company on here, I highly recommend you always go to their profile and check to see if it's a legit company. You can make sure that they're posting regularly. You can see how many followers they have, see if you have any mutual connections at work there is always good, but if you want to be extra safe, you can always turn on these verifications. You can filter for specific locations right here. You can filter for industry. You can filter for job function. You can filter for job title. And then right here are a couple of other really great filters that a lot of people don't use. So under 10 applicants, these jobs are going to hit 10 applicants very quickly. So you may not always have luck with this, but you might look into finding a really brand new or under the radar job right here so that can be really good to turn on in your network getting referrals is one of the best ways to land a job so by turning on in your network that is a great way to find jobs that you know somebody that works there so maybe you can ask them for a referral and if you're interested you could turn on that they're a fair chance employer if you come down here you can find jobs that have specific benefits that you're looking for as well as specific commitments so that was how to find jobs using LinkedIn's job board, but I'm gonna show you one other way to find jobs that people are actively hiring for using LinkedIn's general search function. So a lot of times on LinkedIn, people are gonna share jobs that either they specifically are hiring for or their company is hiring for. And by using LinkedIn's general search function, you can find these jobs. And all you need to do to find this is type hiring, hit a space, and then type whatever job you are looking for. So I am looking for data analyst, so I will search hiring data analyst. And as you can see, there are a lot of filters right here, similar to what we found on the LinkedIn job boards. So you can filter for whatever kind of jobs that you want to find. And just by scrolling down, we can quickly see people that are hiring for jobs. A lot of times these jobs may not even be listed on LinkedIn's job board, so they're not gonna be getting all of that traffic, but you also have a specific person here that maybe if you know them, you can reach out to them. So for example, you can come up here and click from my network. So for example, this person that I'm following is hiring for a product analyst at his company. So this would be a good way for me to message him if I was actually qualified for that job and maybe try to get a referral. One way to filter these jobs that I do all of the time whenever I'm in a job search is I first come up here and hit post because I'm only interested in looking at these posts that people make. And then you can either filter the date posted to the last 24 hours, or you can sort by latest. First, let me show you what happens when you hit latest. So when you hit latest, you are getting literally the latest time someone has posted. So all of these posts so far have been within the last 10 minutes. One thing to look for whenever you're searching for jobs like this is you will come across a bunch of scams. As you can see, this is a fake email address right here. They try to include as many job titles as possible, whether it's posted or not. I've already done a video about how to spot these fake recruiter. So be very careful. Again, they should have an at their company website instead of this fake one that makes it look like it's a company email address when it's really not. But a different way that you could filter for these jobs is just by doing the past 24 hours. So still very recent. And this may pull up more relevant jobs to you. But again, any of these posts that you think about engaging with or applying to, always check out the person who's posting as well as the company to make sure they're legit. But by searching using these keywords, filtering for posts, and then filtering for the recent job posts, this is a really good way to find jobs that are actively being recruited for. If people are actually posting about the jobs, they are probably actively looking at these applications. So it's a great way to get discovered. So anyway, I hope this video taught you how to search for jobs properly on LinkedIn. And I hope as a result of this video that you're able to land your dream 
job. And in case you didn't know, this video is part of my free LinkedIn course hosted right here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to go check out all of the other videos if you haven't already. And whether you wanna learn about data or LinkedIn, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week. Thank you.